a warm welcome to all of you in this video we will see the basics of machine learning as machine learning has been the most talked part of the computer science engineering these days let us have what is it basic uh, what is the, what are the basic components we can understand in machine learning very first question we get what is it this is the biggest question actually machine learning is a method of data analysis which actually computes in automatic mode that whatever the model we are going to work on rather i can say it is allows us to do in by having the analysis of the data whatever we have put into input like we can predict the new output values also similarly it can be called as a subset of machine learning actually why i am saying subset here it is it an idea that the systems whatever we are using they will learn from the data which we have analyzed earlier and they will identify the types of signals the patterns the images whatever the database we have used the system themselves understands the data that's why machine learning is referred as subset of artificial intelligence In the last but not the least it induces as it makes the decisions based upon the method of data analysis it induces it makes some decisions and the human intervention will be very very minimum i cannot say it is completely avoided but it is very minimum next stage is key elements of machine learning very first key element is representation means how we take the knowledge and how we present it and there are so many examples like when it comes to algorithmic wise we have some sets of rules have some graphical representations neural networks we can have svms that is support vector machines some models some decision trees all together we can have our work whatever with the data we can have represented in form of various models what i have just now said to you next part is evaluation now in this one the main purpose of evaluation is to verify for the accuracy and how we can how much the system we have taken for ml is going to predict and it is going to recall whatever has been trained earlier and it will go for different parameter versions like some uh, square error nice ratio single to nice ratio a posterior probability whatever there are entropy they are considered these parameters while we are evaluating the quality of our particular algorithm last but not the least is optimization now this is just like a search process optimization such that the participant here can have a set of programs which can be useful for a search process making our algorithm an optimized one the examples here are various like uh, it can be a, having some constraints constant type of optimization combination type of optimization and it can be also convex type of opt optimization keep it in mind that these three are directly related to most of the times next we are going to see about it supervised learning but it can be also related to unsupervised learning as well and moving from this we have to check about types of learning available here when it comes to types of learning the very first one is supervised or this one can also be called as 
inductive learning process in the types of learning here what are the data we are training it includes the desired outcomes means it will have the desired outputs now what are the data we give in this type of supervised learning we give them that this particular part is referred as trash this effort is called as spam then learning is hence learning is made as supervised next one is semi supervised now here and the previous one it includes desired outputs but here there will be only few desired outputs and few to be taken from the outside this is the point in the semi supervised next one unsupervised learning type here the training data whatever we choose does not include the desired results or desired outcomes now the best example in unsupervised learning is the clustering type of algorithms here in the clustering type of algorithms it is very hard to, to tell which type of algorithm is better which is not because they completely depend upon the type of application and the type of specific requirements we have for our projects last but not the least is a reinforcement learning it is mainly developed from the sequence of actions what we do here and the artificial intelligence uh, as we said machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence likes this type of learning in general and reinforcement reinforcement learning is also referred as a ambitious type of learning because it is a reward of sequence of the actions it is not like the previous things we have included or we can take a few or we can have some other from outside it is not like that it depends upon the actions we take on our work i hope the basic concepts of the machine learning have been helpful for you kindly share like and subscribe our channel and do encourage us